Today, we've been celebrating Boston. And since then, we're heading to the perfect time of year. Now it's for New England clam chowder this time of year. You can't beat it. This is your favorite way of having it. This is it. my favorite way of having uh, it. you got several Boston restaurants, including Buttermilk and Bourbon, mm. sharing his clam chowder recipe. Welcome, Chef Jason Santos. Chef, thank you. Chef, welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being well, here. We know we start with bacon. Mm. We do, we do. This is like the quintessential Boston dish, New England clam chowder, born. The clams are right off the coast. It's amazing. You serve this in all five? We, I serve variations in all five because it's just such a good recipe that I yeah. try to, you know, keep it yeah. going, but it's very simple. So we have in a pot, we have some bacon, it's rendering down. You wanna make sure that bacon gets crispy first. Yeah. And then we're gonna add a little bit of butter to it. But in the meantime, if you'd be so kind to start chopping the mirepoix. <laughs> so mirepoix. carrot, celery, onions, very good to flavor sauces. It's a good hearty base to start with. While you do that, I'm gonna add the butter. Here I go, putting my terrible knife skills to good That's use. That's my next class. Next so class. once the celery's caught, the carrots are caught, we have all these beautiful vegetables. We're going to really start to I layer these. that flavor. We want to make sure this chowder is, you know, delicious, not too heavy. So butter's cooking. We're going to add the uh, carrots. When did you okay. start cooking? Were you a, a small fry? I started when I was eight years old in my grandma's kitchen watching no Julia Child, oh, Jack LePen, uh, like all these great. She was actually in this. It's amazing, yes, you know? So yes. I just always loved it. I am officially came out of the womb making aioli. Like amazing. I've always wanted to cook. It's just something I love. So mm. carrots in. We'll add the celery in. So just while we're doing this, you opened places during the pandemic? I opened two restaurants. Yeah, five restaurants total. I opened one right in smack dab of the pandemic. Everybody thought I was crazy, and I might have been, but thankfully they're very successful thus far, so pretty excited. Then, so we have the carrot, celery, onions, cooking, bacon, butter. Then we're gonna add the beautiful fennel. The fennel's gonna give it that kind of floral, aromatic, a little bit of licorice tasting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stir that around. Then we have some bay leaves and some fresh thyme. That's gonna add more flavor. So we're gonna saute that up. You wanna just sweat this, not mm -hmm. too much color. We don't want it to change the color of the, the chowder. The aroma is incredible. Then we'll add the flour. So we're gonna okay. basically make a roux with the bacon, fat, and butter. Uh, okay. So we stir that around, cook out the flour a little bit. You don't want it to be too starchy. You'll mm. see the pan kind of calms down a little yep. bit. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add the clam juice. So we'll add, add the, the clam, clam juice. juice. So this is fresh clam juice. It's delicious, really rich, you, robust. You were, were you runner up on Hell's Kitchen? I was runner up on Hell's Kitchen 11 years ago, oh. and I'm currently the sous chef in the blue kitchen. No Would be kidding. weird if I was in the red kitchen, right? So, <laughs> but yeah, with Gordon we Ramsay, it's one great. In Vegas. So. Remember? Yeah. How's how's Gordon doing? Does he ever ask for us? He he did once. He did just <laughs> yeah, one time. He did once, yeah. Oh. But All right, so, so stirring that up. Clam juice, clam is, juice in. is in. We're gonna yeah. bring that to a gentle simmer, and then we're gonna take our beautiful clams. We're gonna add our clams right in. And with Where the juices, with well. the Where juice and all. That's clams. the best part. I mean, definitely from the coast, Cape Cod has the best clams, Ipswich, I mean, all famous for clams. Mm -hmm. So clams are in, we're gonna bring that to a simmer, and then we're gonna add some of these potatoes. I par-cook these potatoes, and they're Idaho potatoes, so a little starchier will help thicken it naturally, not so much heavy with the flour. Okay. Mm. So add the potatoes, stir that around. Once that comes to a simmer and it's beautifully cooked, you don't want to overcook the clams, just a gentle simmer, that's the key. How do you know when the clams are ready? The clams will sort of have like, they have this little thermometer on them. They start to curl up a little bit, but because so of the visually, heat, it's going to carry over. Visually, yeah. yeah. I mean, you don't want to overcook them too much. And then we're going to add a little bit of heavy cream to finish. Uh, yes. We'll heavy stir that around. Right there. Okay. Heavy cream. And that sort right. of creams it out, makes it delicious, velvety. Mm. And then some, just some simple fresh herbs. I have some chives and some parsley. Yes. Mm. I like the color. I often see clam chowder just white and kind of sitting in a steam table. Yes. This really wakes this it up. This is They're really very nice. Very visual yes. and delicious. Lots of flavor. And there's more, right? We're going to make yeah, good. Let's get a break and come back. What are we making after this? this? Right? We are making smoked oyster crackers mm. to garnish. Crackers. crackers. And black pepper right. bacon. After this. All right, chef. Where do you want to start next? The chowder right, is still brewing. So the chowder brewing. simmering. It's almost perfect. We're going to make a black pepper bacon bit. So we have some oh. lay flat sliced bacon here. We're just going to season what cut it is this? liberally. That's the pork belly. So it's cured and smoked. It's beautiful. So lots of black pepper. Don't be shy with that. And all we're going to do basically is bake this until it's crispy okay. and then chop it up into black pepper bacon bits. So bacon's always in chowder, but black pepper adds another layer of flavor. Don't get in your cut. The black pepper. No, that's no, it. definitely Just, not. Or yeah. lemon juice for that matter. Okay. Oh, that's so, the worst. And the next thing, this is a really cool garnish. Everybody has the obligatory oyster cracker. We're going to use make a smoked oyster cracker. So we just have butter, some melted butter. We're going to add that to the oyster crackers. 
and we have smoked salt. So smoked salt's gonna really wake this up and really make it taste different. Smoked salt. I feel like there's yeah. a whole separate grocery store that people know about that I don't know about. You can get smoked salt online. It's really great to finish yeah. meats with and stuff, but wow. we just put these basically on the sheet pan, okay. roast them in the oven. They'll kind of caramelize a little bit, get nice and delicious. Amazing. And then that's it. It's very simple. They'll stay in your cupboard. It's really great, versatile to use for a little crunch. Mm. Mm. And then we go to our chowder here. And so you can see the chowder's cooked down. It's creamy. Yes. It's delicious. So we're just going to take up some of that chowder. Is that a chowder mug or is that a coffee mug? This is a little bit of both. It's either an mm, extra large cup of chowder. I put it in there earlier so it's not quite as scalding hot. Okay. okay. It's still so scalding hot. We're going to add the chowder and then we have a little bit of our bacon bits mm -hmm. on top mm. for a little crunch. Some smoked oyster crackers and we have some either chives or parsley, something at the end. A little garnish. Again, a little visual. And you have this amazing, beautiful Look clam chowder beautiful that right is. from Boston Harbor. Oh my God. Mm. Perfect for breakfast. This you recipe know what? and more it also at our website. Still tastes like light. Right. Not that's what I don't. I don't mm, like that heavy right? yes. gluttonous chowder. Amazing. This is amazing. Brothy light delicious. Amazing, Congrats amazing. on all of your different thank locations. You Look forward to getting up there and trying some of that. So thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back with the inbox. Chef Jason Santos. If you would like to know more about anything you see on live, just log on to our website at kellyandryan.com.